our last letters uh, these don't come into these groupings like uh, with the like as a normal aspirated and you know so as I will uh, interface for you is as this one is like a uh, English Y yo like yo yo like uh, yellow so my handwriting is very poor <laughs> yellow yo yo and the second one is like R R R like rust R rust R third one is L like English L L L kind of like L <coughs> like love love L love okay and the fourth one is like uh, V or W V V V Violet Violet uh, Like watch Watch V and the last one it's huda, huda. it's also letter flex uh, with the letter beneath beneath so huda. like like you pronounce r but r r but you also flick your tongue huda. 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 okay so these are just uh, the normal alphabets and after that there are some additional alphabets which which were not the part of the original language but were uh, brought in to translate the um, Persian text because back then uh, Persian was the official language of Punjab so a lot of Persian was used so translate a lot of uh, not a lot but uh, some uh, words were modified to make the sound so uh, the most common com or i will first write the most common is like the sir the sir was as sir but the sure sound sure like shepherd shepherd sure sure so as we will just put a dot beneath this one sure okay and uh, the other one is z so it's like mm -hmm, like j this one it was this j but z sound to give the z sound z like a zebra we put a dot beneath this z okay and uh, some other else are like k like this one k but uh, uh, even if you it's not necessary for them for you to learn them even I cannot pronounce this so if you come across this uh, sim so you it's just you will Punjabi people will just pronounce it same way as her this one so we like this is supposed to be different but we cannot pronounce it the, the ways it should be like it, it's like oh. so for me no big deal I can uh, for uh, every Punjabi so we you, you know no matter how they return it we will all, always pronounce it like ko 
like this one and also there's also like go so there's additional with the dot so well, no matter how is written we will pronounce it like always like go okay and there's other one the pa but with a dot in it so it's supposed to be giving the sound of uh, English F for for this this is like labial pa pa and this is like English F for 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 pa okay but but you will uh, i will tell you not an interesting thing you will see a lot of punjabis you are speaking this word for as for for example the word for flower is for for but uh, you will find many Punjabis pronouncing it as full full okay so that's all for today for the consonants in the next part we will learn the vowels and then we will go about how you can uh, join the letters to make the sentences or words and so on so we will carry on but till then you can keep practicing this